So you might be thinking it's time to change. Done with the bank? Have you had it with the fees? Maybe you're worried the bank could fail. Is it worth putting your money in a credit union? We're going to ask early show financial contributor Vera Gibbons. Good, Good morning, morning. Harry. How do you make the determination? A lot of people are, are well, switching. Well, a lot of people right? are. Yeah. You know why they're switching? Mm. Primarily because they're tired of all the big fees that are being imposed by right. the big banks. They're tired of a really bad customer service. That's taken a hit. Mm -hmm. So they're making the switch from the banks to the credit unions. Membership's up 11% in the third quarter. 90 million Americans now belong to a credit wow, union. that's a lot. Who can join, though? Well, when you think credit union, if you haven't looked around in a while, you think, oh, they're for a niche group of teachers, steel workers, but they've really come a long way. They've really brought in up uh, fewer restrictions to join. The mm. rules are sort of relaxed. Right. So a lot of these are community-based these days. It doesn't take much to actually join. So how would you determine then if you find out there are some in your community that you can join? How, how do you decide well, which is the right Well, actually, you should you? go to culookup.com, and you can find out which ones are in your neighborhood, which mm -hmm. ones you might want to join. You want to make sure your deposits are insured by the National Credit Union Administration. They cover your deposits just the way the FDIC okay. does do with the banks, up to $100,000. So you want to make sure about that. And one way to tell, Harry, there will be a blue sticker in the window of the credit union, okay. or you could just ask. All right. Make sure you're, you're, you want to be make sure your deposits right. are insured. So if it's a shack that's falling down <laughs> and it doesn't have the blue sticker, on the, don't go there. Don't go in there. All right. So the the question I think a lot of people have is: Is it easier to get a loan at a credit union because the banks are doing any lending? Well, but that's right. sort of the reputation though from the past. Right. Well, here's the thing: If you look at the bank loan portfolios, mm -hmm. they're actually shrinking, whereas the credit union loan portfolios are growing. So. What that means is if you're a credit-worthy customer, you mm -hmm. actually do stand a better chance of getting a loan at a credit union wow. versus a big commercial bank. You can bank. see why all these people are going over to change well, that. They, right? they weren't caught up in the whole fiasco, the whole subprime mess mm -hmm. that the banks were, right. so they were in a better position to loan. All right, so what kind of rates, though, are we talking about? Good. Really? Yes, you're, you're typically going to find higher rates on deposits and lower rates on the loans. Taking a look at that car wow. loan, over 6% at a bank versus more like 5% for a credit union. Adjustable rate mortgage, are, they're lower as well. Home equity loans over a full percentage point lower. And credit cards, the interest rates on those, right? 20% lower at a credit union versus the banks. And that's because when banks make profits, that goes back to the shareholders sure. in the form of a higher stock price. Right. With the credit unions, profits go right back to union. the members in the form of those better rates. Phew. Now, what about ATMs and you know those sorts of day-to-day -day services that we... You can get all of the services you're going to find at a big bank at one mm -hmm. of those established credit unions. At some of the smaller ones, though, maybe not. Some of the services might be limited. They might mm -hmm. come at a cost. You know, there, there might be some issues there. For right. example, some of the credit unions, the smaller ones, They'll issue you a credit card that's from a big bank, a Chase, oh, and then you're okay. up against the because same really sort of practices. The they don't have do the it. facilities. Right. They don't have the capacity. But the larger established ones do. Uh, just in an overall, so many people moving over. How, how many? 90 million people? 90 have gone million over. now join. Is there any downside right off the top of your head that you can think about? There's not a huge downside. One of the big pluses is that there are fewer fees. The fees tend to be a lot less, which is why people seem to like them. And the overall satisfaction rate, very high very on the high. credit unions. There you go. Very good. Nice Thanks, segment. Mary. Very good. And says, <laughs> always, thank you very much. To learn more about credit unions and banks, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.